Good morning, everyone. By show of hands, how many of us have been in a romantic situation? Now, if we take it back to 1986, Dan Logan suggests romance is turning the usual into the unusual. President Obama had no choice but to place him and his wife in a situation that did not cater to his or his wife's idea of romance, which is what which is how he states, and so I just want to wish you, sweetie, happy anniversary and let you know that a year from now, we will not be celebrating it in front of 40 million people. Just a few days prior to my departure, I took my significant other to Spy Castle in Queens, New York. As we lay near the sauna, sharing thoughts and telling jokes about whatever came to mind, I figured it was a good time to take my bathroom break. I returned with a necklace resembling the key to my heart. Raise your hand if you would consider that to be romantic. For as long as I can remember, I watched my stepfather perform acts of romance. This topic is relevant because in a relationship, people tend to hide the, ignore the facts that the little things mean the most. Being romantic isn't everyone, but some people aren't capable of expressing it effectively. Between choosing when to be romantic, doing the impossible, and sharing mutual feelings, chances are you'll come across some complimentary results. While majority wait for the right time, this is not always the best time. The biggest mistake we make is waiting for a specific time that calls for romance, as opposed to doing so at random. You don't need a special holiday to make your mate feel special. According to a recent article in BBC News, bonding to women find it more important to bond than men. Guys, why not take this bonding to another level? On a random day, tell your girlfriend you want to take her out that night. In doing so, think about the little things. You've already received a number of cool points for initiating such a spontaneous night anyways. While doing the impossible, you receive results that you also feel were impossible. When the time comes that you do choose to be romantic, be creative. Stay clear of the following creativity blockers. Looking for one right answer, following the rules, logical thinking, fear of failure, fear of embarrassment, and belief that you are not creative. Those ideas that seem foolish are nine times out of 10 the best ideas. You don't want to slip up and do something too common because chances are it's been done for your mate already, and you'll probably look like the average guy. For example, guys, as ridiculous as it may sound, why not just give your girlfriend a nice flower to start up her day? <laughs> Ladies, laying up under your boyfriend for the first NBA game of the season might be the best thing to happen to him all day besides the game. Consequently, the satisfaction of one can lead to the satisfaction of another. Can we all agree that the most desired feelings between lovers are those that are mutual? Mutual feelings show connection and a sense of approval. This is why these are the key feelings that should be expressed in this time. After that dinner that you decided to take your girlfriend on, guys, show her the same affection in return when she thanks you for such a wonderful night with making your accomplishments seem too, without making your accomplishments seem too easy or too difficult. When you feel that, uh, that sense of approval and connection, that is a moment that calls for total optimism. To your satisfaction, your effort has finally paid off. While doing the impossible, wait, sorry. Summing up the processes of being romantic at random, expressing your creativity, and sharing your feelings of fulfillment, you consider yourself above average. In, general sen in a general sense, each process requires you to go beyond and touch every water. The same way it takes an effort to express some emotion that you may not know exists or try to hide, it also takes effort to increase your level of romance. In comparison with Dan Logan's definition, a more recent definition suggests Romance is seeking the attention or patronage of someone by use of flattery. Well, I hope you were able to gain a thing or two for this. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching.